It seems like 3D is always being turned into this exciting selling point. We've seen it with movies, video games, movies again, and any number of other random things as well. And as tired as it is, Samsung and the rest of the flash industry are using this classic marketing buzzword for their new NAND flash technology design, which, hold on a second, wait, don't go. It might actually be worth paying attention to this time. All right, so let's get started. Now, historically, the NAND flash that lets your SD cards, USB drives, and SSDs, or solid state drives, actually store data so quickly and reliably has been made up of memory cells strung horizontally along a flat plane. And the primary way that we would reduce the physical size of it, uh, limiting production costs, or increase the number of cells, improving storage space and or performance, was by squeezing the space between these lines ever and ever closer. But unfortunately, quantum physics is a bit of a harsh mistress and shrinking all these elements past a certain point with modern materials anyway, uh, one we're quickly approaching by the way, creates little issues like corruption or complete and total data loss caused by signals jumping between neighboring cells at random. So while we were on our way towards this inevitable outcome, like an asteroid headed towards the Pacific Ocean, which would create a tidal wave three miles high, some bright roughneck had been thinking of a way to turn the old design model on its side to save us. Which is actually pretty much the solution in a nutshell. You see, a typical NAND cell looks a little something like this, consisting of an electrical source, drain, and both float and control gates, all set over semiconductive silicon. When the float gate becomes highly charged, it causes electrons to spill into and become trapped in a layer of oxide. This in turn causes the charge to build up inside the float gate until it meets a required voltage threshold and is washed out the drain. This would be considered the binary one state, which some viewers may recognize as being a bit backwards from traditional CPU transistor and bit code relationships. Well, anyway, in the new three dimensional models, they take a typical style line segment and bend it into a square U shape at the middle, then flip it vertically. This has allowed for engineers to implant several vertical cell segments in the same width of a traditional horizontal one. Or in other words, we can drastically increase storage capacities and and access speeds without the drawbacks that come with further miniaturization of the components. So at this point, you're probably waiting for me to say something like, sounds great, right? Too bad it's horribly <laughs> expensive, lol. But uh, that would actually be dead wrong this time. You see, the main attraction to both manufacturers and consumers alike is that this process actually allows the cost per bit to go down as sizes increase. You see, the old flat chips required heavy amounts of lithography, which is the altering and shaping of materials, whereas the new full bodied ones obtain their properties mostly through the more basic deposition or building process. So as it turns out, less really is more in this case. So you can rest easy knowing that the days of affordable and expandable memory are right around the corner and we have absolutely nothing to worry about going forward. Well, that is until we run into the exact same problem again once we've used up all the extra space we freed up by flipping everything vertically, so there's that. Speaking of uh, that, uh, buying razors at the store, that doesn't seem like a very good idea at all. Maybe there's a less expensive and more efficient way to buy things to shave your face that you can use all that extra space that you freed up on your SSD, which, okay, this segue made no sense. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Dollar Shave Club is what it's all about right now. Get razors and other bathroom supplies shipped directly to your door for only a few bucks a month. We're talking razors, Dr. Carver's shave butter, their one wipe Charlie's peppermint scented butt wipes for men, which by the way, I would have been pretty glad to have at, in some of those bathrooms in Southeast Asia, and I totally forgot to take a pack of them with me, which would have been a great idea. They've also got their post shave moisturizer and travel sizes of some of those things as well. They've got a variety of razor styles, all the way up to the six blade executive, and it's just 
pretty simple, I guess. The concept is you sign up for the club, they ship you the razors, your face looks good, your wallet feels good, and it's dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus if all of that sounded good to you. It's available in the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. So thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future Fast as Possible episode just like this one. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and follow and all of that good stuff.